the back and forth over bills this week, all the debate, all the controversy, one bill waiting for the governor's signature passed the Florida House and Senate without any opposition. Unanimous, not a single no. It's all about evening the playing field for Florida's college athletes to be compensated for their own marketable name, image, and or likeness. State Rep Chip LaMarca, Republican from Fort Lauderdale, was the quarterback, the coach, taking that bill in for a win. Enough cheesiness. Chip, great to have you aboard. <laughs> the sports metaphors, they're just too easy. They just, they just come. So, um, so great to have you this Sunday. Thank you for saying yes. Um, the this bill i feel like you have been shepherding this bill for years there was a 2021 law that this now replaces what is the difference now between our college athletes being able to be compensated yes yeah, so th uh, thank you for having me on and thanks for uh the time to talk about this important issue uh considering there's a lot of other important issues this was a timing issue and you know this was always going to be a two-step process when we passed the bill in 2020 we put some guardrails up because uh, we can, we were concerned with maybe retaliation from the NCAA. Um, they now they have a new leader, and I've been in contact with Governor Baker from Massachusetts, who's now the, the head of the NCAA. And I think you know, moving forward, uh, we'll we'll uh, trust but verify. And I think he's going to be a good leader. That said, we had guardrails that pro, uh, prohibited a lot of our universities from having. Uh, involvement and communication with athletes of every sport, gender, uh, and connecting them with deals. In other words, if, uh, you know, if there's a car dealership in Miami that wanted to get a hold of the quarterback at the hurt for the University of Miami Hurricanes, they were prohibited from making that uh, contact and communication. So, uh, how the bigger did, part so how, without that communication, how, how did they do it in the first place? Well, the, a lot of deals were missed. Uh, a lot of opportunities were missed. And that's why when you say Alabama, Georgia, Louisiana, other states that compete directly with Florida, uh, with our, our schools and different conferences, had some advantages. So this this will even that playing field. But the bigger part of the bill for me was looking out for our college athletes and making sure they have the proper education for financial literacy, life skills, but now even more importantly, entrepreneurship training, which will help them in, in their uh, endeavors to start their own business. I actually was going to ask you that because in, in reading through the bill, I mean, financial literacy should be mandatory for everybody mm -hmm. and it's not. And I have seen in my own firsthand world how what a, an Achilles heel that could be. So especially for athletes who could come into a lot of money very quickly, mm -hmm. that portion of the bill is, is really gold. Yeah, that was that was the most important thing for me. And in speaking to people like Senator Corey Simon, who was a was a Blanche Ely graduate, Florida State champion uh, through FSU, and then played in the NFL, you know, he looked back and said, "Well, this would have been great to have when I was there." But here's what we need to look out because these are certain things that you know someone's not going to know. And it it could be whether it's you know we've all seen the stories, whether it's Bernie Kosar or it's a uh, an athlete that uh, may not have had the training in the household, but uh, now that now they're going to have it. And for me, that was the most important part about this legislation. Yeah. So this sounds like it's kind of also about the ability for Florida schools to recruit, because if other states have different laws where, you know, potentially athletes can go to school and make much more money, th this was a recruiting issue, I suppose, right? Uh, well, so technically, under the under any of these uh, state laws or, or the NCAA's guidelines, you're not allowed to use uh, NIL possible deals, certainly not sign any, prior to, to an athlete signing with the school. Uh, so you're not allowed to use it for inducement to bring them there. Obviously, if they know that Florida is a very uh, you know, very good state economically and there's opportunities for, for athletes once they've signed at, for example, Florida Atlantic University, they can go, you know, work with the local businesses in Boca Raton and, and North Broward, for example. Um, so it's it will help in the long run, but uh, they can't really recruit based on it. They, but uh, the opportunities are we're, we're obviously going to, you know, market the opportunities at once those athletes are there. So what are then the guardrails to guard against a a pay for play? Well, uh, you know, the universities need to constantly look to do better at compliance. Uh, there's a, I'll give you an example. There's a company right out of uh, Broward County called Athliance that, that are doing a great job with collecting the data, collecting all the deals. It's not only going to uh, be gold, you know, gold information for compliance, but as uh, in my conversation with, with, uh, with Governor Baker, you know, the big issue that people want to find out is, all right, what's the market value? What's the market value of a diver at Miami versus 
you know, another school? What's the what's the value of, uh, you know, certain positions in certain uh, sports? So uh, I think really the compliance piece is, is what's going to, to keep schools from a, a guard girl perspective from uh, getting into paper pay for play and, we, and we've seen it already they try it's, they're going to people are going to try to do that I mean, we get that do you do you know what the market values are have you figured any of that out so uh, this is kind of like feeding the information into the the machine right i mean uh if, if a offensive line lineman or a quarterback or a female soccer player who scores a lot of goals you know is uh is being compensated uh you know at a certain rate in in uh kind of the southeast We'll start getting real values. I mean, obviously, if somebody says I'm going to give you ten million dollars to, to uh, you know, do one commercial at my car dealership, then you know that doesn't pass the smell test. So I think the the values will come uh, as more deals are done, and we'll be able to kind of aggregate and uh, you know value what uh, each position at each school is is kind of worth. You know, this is interesting because for I guess the vast majority of college players they don't go on to the pros, so their marketability right. as a great player is probably now <laughs> or right, as they right. play and we're, and we're you know i just had the privilege of being present for the retirement and uh and uh of louise crocco at cardinal given she won uh 20 state championships for girls volleyball for the most part after you know college there's not a girls volleyball sport unless you're in beach volleyball so to to maximize your name image and like this while you're in college this really is the time to do it yeah and really with the entrepreneurship piece this this will hopefully you create a brand based on you're playing a sport, but if you do it right, you can create a brand, you know, that, that's, uh, you can be an influencer. You could be, uh, be on TV every Sunday, whatever it might be. But, <laughs> I mean, ultimately, it's, it's about building your brand and, and learning how to, how to enter the business world, you know, while you have this opportunity. So it, it, it was just such a waste before any, anybody could do this that you finish and maybe you're, you, you go into law enforcement or you go, you go into a financial right office somewhere and you used to be a player playing a sport but you couldn't do anything about it and you know you saw video games and other people benefiting off of uh yeah. of that sure chip lamarca great to have you with us this was this is really interesting because reading that bill wasn't as mm -hmm. clear as you were right now <laughs> so well, thanks so much yeah to finish the puns you were doing uh, we uh, we've kicked this off to the former captain of the yale baseball team uh, our governor <laughs> on the bill excellent we'll be watching thanks so much Thank you. Have a great day.